Hi guys, I am here to do a review today on the Galt Play Nest Farm. We purchased this when Peyton was around three or four months. I purchased it from Zulily. You can also find it on Amazon. I am not sure if you can get it at Babies or Us or places like that, but that'd be something to look into. We got this as an alternative, sit on your bottom, as an alternative to a Bumbo. Um, for a couple reasons, it is uh, has more activities on it that you don't have to purchase extra. It deflates so that it's easy for us to take to my grandparents or take up north with us. It's easy to move from room to room. And there were some concerns um, that our pediatrician had said regarding the Bumbo um, that it's not good for their hips and backs and things like that. So we decided to purchase this instead to help our son learn how to sit on his own. He started using this around three or four months. He is now six months old and we don't really put him in it as much anymore. Um, only because he tries standing in it, but it's still great to use and um, he still really loves it. As you see, he is playing with the horse's tail right now. I really, really give the credit of my son sitting so early to this play nest. It helped a ton with helping him sit by himself. Um, we sat with him a lot and like helped him and caught him when he fell, but it was great to put him in this because when he did fall, he fell on to the inflatable tube. Um, which he's sitting in the middle of. So I wasn't concerned about him hurting himself. So that was really, really great. I could also put toys in there when he wasn't really great at grabbing things so that they're right there in front of him. And it was a lot harder for him then to actually throw things out of the play nest. So it was easier for everything to be with him um, in there. I wish though that it had little tags here so that you could attach rings. That would be nice um, so that when they do get bigger, when they try throwing things out of the play nest, they're not able to. Um, at his age now, he does throw things out of there, but like I said, he doesn't really go in there very often. Nowadays, we normally put toys in the play nest where he's sitting, and he leans over the play nest to grab them out because he likes to be moving and on all fours and things like that. So it still works great for us even at six months. It will be six months tomorrow. Um, but it's still working great for us uh, at this point. It Recommendation for the age from the company is six months to a year. But like I said, we were using this much sooner. And I'm very glad that we did. One other complaint that I do have with this is... Well, it's not really a complaint. It's just more of a concern. Sometimes when he leans forward too much or when he was learning to sit and he fell backwards, I was nervous about it flipping over. Uh, it never happened. And we always had things around it in case it did. Uh, but that was just something that worried me a little bit sometimes. But like I said, that did never happen. Um, and as you can see, he loves it. He, you know, all of the stuff that he can touch and feel, they're very good for his senses. All of his senses, really, for touch, hearing. Um, he's tasting the horse's tail right now. So it just is a great, great sitting or supportive sitting utensil. I am very pleased with it and um, I'm very glad that we found this and that we were able to have it with him and we'll be able to use it with future children as well. The outside also is washable so that's great as well because if he were to spit up on it or um, anything like that you could just wash it and it comes with those instructions. I believe it's machine washable. Don't quote me on that though. Um, but yeah, that is the plainest. And I will um, take you around to show you each individual sensory item on the outside. Okay, as you can see, the first object on there that we are looking at is a flap with a puppy on it. That crinkles as my son is showing. Next, we have the pig, which also crinkles. Here is a tractor. And the circle on there is um, a different fabric, so it has a different feel to it. Here we have another crinkly page. And then we have the cow, which also has a different texture on its nose. The duck here's um, beak, or whatever you want to call it, nose, I guess, um, squeaks. He really hasn't figured that out quite yet. Um, but we like to squeak it for him. The horse's tail here uh, moves around so he can 
touch it and put it in his mouth and things like that. And then the last sensory item on here is the sheep's, uh, on the top of the sheep's head. It has a different texture to it. So that is the Play Nest and our review on it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope this helped you um, in deciding whether or not you should purchase it. Say bye, Peyton. You say bye, buddy. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.